hello, hello, hey, everyone say no. a nice big hello. And welcome, welcome everyone to the Extreme Improv Extreme Show, the fast paced improvised comedy show where we make up scenes, songs and stories and so much more based entirely on audience suggestions. But because today is a special day, I don't want any of your suggestions, audience, so I'm not taking them. This is a pre-recorded show, so feel free to type any suggestions into the comment section if you want, but you'll just feel like you have been ignored and rejected, which is how I feel on most days. Oh. Now, on the hey, show Molly. tonight, yeah, Tiny Violin. Speaking of Tiny Violins, let's come over to Ruth. Say hello to the people since you had one. Hello, hello. I wish I could play a violin with a small, tiny, huge, but I can't. Hello. Uh, I'm Ruth. I'm in Banbury in Oxfordshire in the United Kingdom. Yes. Now, uh, speaking of tiny and huge, uh, let's find out DB. How's it going today? I wish I had any talent, but instead I'm here. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, someone who is also here is Jimmy Mack. Say hello to the people. Hey, everybody. I'm Jimmy Mack. I'm here in Los Angeles and I'm here. Okay, uh, someone who is not here, unfortunately, is Antoinette. Say hello to the people. Hello to the people! Now, uh, speaking of Kenny uh, from South Park, Dave, say hello to the people. Like, genuinely, uh, Antoinette just did a much better Kenny than you, so, you know. Probably, yeah. Because like you've got to hear the muffled voice, because otherwise. Um, but speaking of muffled voices, Stephen, can we check that you can be heard? <laughs> there we go. Uh, hello, Stephen. Say hello to the people. Hello. <laughs> okay, so on this show, we're oh, going... Oh, no, go ahead, Stephen. I'll... I'll, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. Right, we're going to get on with some improv games. Um, we only generally do the introduction of everyone, so it's enough time to get the intro suggestions in. So this was completely redundant. But with this, we are going to play our open. Oh, it's nice to meet everyone as well. We're going to play our opening game of verbatim, and the way this works is so we will have one of our performers perform a 30-second dramatic monologue. Then we will ask another performer to attempt to recreate their monologue as precisely as as they can. Now, going first, we are going to have DB. DB, I'm going to take a suggestion from the Extreme Improv suggestion cards, which you can get as part of the Extreme Improv board game, Improvise Your Way Out of This. So do go to this website and buy two copies. In fact, buy five. So, with this, let's see. <laughs> Why buy two copies? They're very important. Sure okay, then buy months. 17 copies. <laughs> Look, I don't yeah. care if one person buys every copy available, as long as I get some money at some point in my life. <laughs> right, this is improv, guys. Right, so, anyway. Um, DB, your theme is monsters. Monsters. You will have 30 seconds on the theme of monsters to perform a Jurassic monologue, and here you go. I have many, many favourite monsters throughout history. There's the mummy, there's the wolf, the werewolf, there's Dracula, there's Frankenstein, those are some of the greats, but my favorites mostly come out of the 70s and early 80s, big fan of Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street was that, Freddy Krueger was the greatest monster of all time, with his claw. And that is time, that is time. So now in this game of verbatim, as we always do, we're going to come to another performer who will have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate DB's original performance as precisely as they can. And in this instance, we're going to come to Dave. Dave, you will have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate DB's original performance. Here you go. I've met many monsters and have seen many monsters through my time. Very famous ones. Dracula, Frankenstein, the mummy, the werewolf, Donald Trump. But I think, <laughs> but I think some of the best monsters come from the 70s. and uh, Like Freddy Krueger and his clawed glove. And he, he slashes all the kids. 
not actual kids though because they're teenagers you know and that is time that is time okay so are teenagers not kids I think they're still kids they're big kids yeah but you think of Scooby Doo like if if it wasn't for you meddling kids, that they're, they're definitely they're definitely yeah. Uh, but it's an older person saying that, so in their mindset and their perspective, they are kids. They could be in their thirties, but to that old groundskeeper, they, they are all kids. drive. They all drive, so they're all over eighteen. Stephen, I'm going to use this same argument to anyone who is younger than me at all ever. <laughs> I am older, therefore you're a child. So, with this, we are going to come to Antoinette. Antoinette, you'll have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate Dave's recreation of DB's original performance. And here you go. There are movies about, uh, you know, Freddy, no. Okay, Dracula, <laughs> the werewolf, and those creepy characters. But then, there's Nightmare on Elm Street, and there's Freddy Krueger with his club, and he always kills the kids. But no, he doesn't kill the kids because they're not kids. They're teenagers. That's what they are. And I'm going to just keep on adding my own stuff because I ran out of time unless I can just stop talking right now. And you can stop talking right now. That is time. Well done, Antoinette. So now we're going to take things full circle. In a second, DB, you will have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate Antoinette's recreation of Dave's recreation of your original performance. And here you go. Um, uh, Fredo, um, <laughs> uh, monster movie, uh, uh, what was that, the Dracula and Frankenstein, and, uh, scared of, uh, stuff, uh, the, the Freddy Krueger things, and I, uh, went, uh, in a direction that I had no idea I was gonna go, and, you know, uh, they like to kill kids or something about killing kids. I didn't actually say anything about killing kids, but everybody else did. <laughs> <laughs> and that is time. Ah, uh, that won't hold up in court, DB. It won't hold up in court. Uh, I don't say anything about killing kids. Yeah, <laughs> everyone else did. I just joined in. So, with this... Uh, audience, it is not voting time. We're going to decide amongst ourselves who we think did the best there, because this is not live. It is like watching a replay. Now, uh, Ruth, who do you think did the best there? I loved Dave. Oh, sorry, um, <laughs> I thought Dave did the best. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, what would you say, Stephen? Well, I love Dave, but that's a separate issue. Um, but uh, <laughs> I think DB was the best there because DB does not like killing any kids, and I'm pro that. Okay, so, and Jimmy Mark, Mac, what would you say? Uh, I think that <clears throat> I think that Antoinette uh, did a really good job of doing it, just exactly perfectly uh, the way it had been done before. I love Yay! the fact that we have all gone for someone different, so it puts the deciding vote in my hands. And in this instance, I'm going to say, Antoinette, you won that round, no! so well done. Well done. We're going to do another one of these audience. Uh, this time, we're going to start off with Stephen. Stephen, the suggestion for you is you are going to create a monologue based on the theme of being arrested being arrested and 30 <laughs> seconds on the clock here you go well, I have never been arrested because I am a good law abiding citizen kind of um, <laughs> I've still been caught I have committed lots of crimes terrible terrible crimes which I managed to hate over the years um, don't look in my cupboard um, I've done all sorts of terrible things and terrible things to the people on this show tonight but they will never find out what I did. Um, perhaps I will be arrested sometime soon. Perhaps this video will be shown in court. And that is time. That is time. Uh, if they do want to show this video in court, they're going to have to pay me a royalty fee. But um, other than that, do you know what? Wouldn't that be brilliant? I wonder if anyone's ever done that. It's like imagine it's like uh, like Scarlett Johansson takes Disney to court, like as right. is being planned. And, like, Disney actually say that they've got to subscribe to Disney Plus to play the clip. Right, so, anyway, next up, Jimmy Mack. You will have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate Steven's original performance. And here you go. I've never been arrested because I'm a good person. 
Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I, I, I'm a strong, upstanding citizen uh, because I've never been caught for my crimes. I've done terrible, terrible things, some of them against children, some against teenagers, and I really say, what's the difference? Um, listen, if, if this ever does end up in court, please... Uh, pay and that is time. <laughs> that is time. Oh dear. Um, we went back in that direction. Um, so, Ruth, it is now over to you, and here you go. I've never been arrested. Um, but, uh, you know, I've sneezed. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's because I've never been caught. I mean, I'm a fine, upstanding citizen as well but uh, uh, nobody knows the many crimes that I've committed um, mostly against children or teenagers are we really going down that route of our children teenagers? and that is time that is time <laughs> well done well done so now we're going to go full circle so Stephen you will have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate Ruth's recreation Jimmy Max recreation of your original performance and here you go I have been arrested, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I've, I've played crimes against children and teenagers. They may be the same thing, they may be not. I think the only difference between them is how long you stayed in jail for the crimes against them. Um, I have never done much crime, apart from all the other terrible things I've done. I do think a crime that I may have committed is sneezing during a show. That's a terrible crime, which will get you thrown out of every theatre on Broadway and the West End. And that oh, is time. That is time. Well done. So, um, with this, once again, let's decide who, who did the best there. So, with this, Dave, who would you give it to? First, first up, I apologise for the sneezing. That was my missus. Oh, bless you. Uh, bless her. <laughs> that, that, so I blame, uh, but I go for Ruth, because she powered through the sneezing. <laughs> okay, um, what would you say, DB? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Uh, who, who do you think <laughs> no, did the no. best? <laughs> I would say after the Venmo that I just got, uh, the $20 Venmo I just got, I'd have to vote for Jimmy. Wow, okay. And what would you say, Antoinette? I would say... I vote for the sneeze. Yeah. Good that was Good Fabulous, vote. fabulous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, just dealing with a tech issue. Um, I don't know who won there, but um, I'm going to say it was Stephen. So well done there, Stephen. Well done. <laughs> So, with this, we're going to go rapidly on to our next game. And our next game is going to be a one-minute remake. And the way this works is we are each going to be given one minute. No, we're going to do it in... Yeah, we're going to do it on our own. Right, okay, there's an odd number of us. So, um... Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I I've lost the plot. So, let's see who will go first. Dave, um... It's not you. It is, in fact, Jimmy Mack. Okay, Jimmy Mack, the really film... Dave before you even pressed it. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's because he was first on the screen, but, like... Okay, Jimmy Mack. Uh, the film for you to recreate is the movie Joker. Please, could you recreate the movie Joker in one minute? You're not just going to be playing one character. You're going to be playing them all. You're going to make sure it's got a beginning, middle, and end. And you will have one minute that will begin now. Hey everybody! Uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, I've got this sign. Come shop at this store. Ah, kids or teenagers? Oh, stop feeding me! Ah, I'm so thin and skinny. Hey mom, I sure love you. Okay, I'm gonna go do some stand up. Hey, um, 99 jokers walk into a bar. Um, and the the bartender said, "Why so serious?" <laughs> oh, I laugh uncontrollably too. Here's a card that says that I laugh uncontrollably. Hey, Robert De Niro, um, what's the difference between a guy who society forgot about and uh, a crazy person? What's it to you? Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's right, everybody. Now I'm gonna dance down the stairs. Ba ba da 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 da. Hey! Ba ba da da. Ba da ba da ba da. Hey! Ba ba da da. I'm a cultural icon now. 
Hey, Batman, you wouldn't exist without me. And um, that is time. Well done there, Jimmy <laughs> Mac. Well done. So, with this, let's roll the dice. And next up, Dave. It will be you this time. Oh, and <laughs> let's see what film we have for you. <laughs> the Fast and the Furious. The Fast and the Furious. And here you go. Well, uh, I mean, you need to go undercover to, to find out where this gang is, is operating from. Does that mean I get to be really, really, really fast? I'm not making a comment to that. Oh, I'm really furious. I have, I have a car and I drive really, really fast. <laughs> You know what would really be, make me so furious? Why are you so furious? There's nine movies and now we're going to space. It took us nine movies, but we're finally doing it. That seems really, really stupid, doesn't it? I don't know. It's, it's, it's just the series. It's just the way that we're going now. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to crash my car. Whoa! Hey, you need to get out of here before the cops show up. Didn't we derail from this movie a little bit? Probably. And I walk slowly as the end credits roll and there's some music playing. I think there's this music playing. And that is time. time. <laughs> and that is time. Um, I would say that was good, but you didn't mention family. So, um, with this, we will come on to our next performer. <sighs> Who would, who will it be? Antoinette, in fact. Antoinette. Oh. So let's find a film for you. And the film I have for you... That's the exact same one that's a Joker. Right, the film I have for you, according to the Extreme Improv Suggestion Cards, is Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Who Framed Roger Rabbit? And here you go. Ah, here I go. I never saw the movie. I saw the person walking. Wait, the woman and the rabbit. Uh, <laughs> rabbit with the woman and the woman trying to be sexy and the rabbit just, I don't even know. And um, uh, I guess I'll make up some lines. Hey, rabbit, let's go to the park. Yeah. Oh, hey, sexy lady. Would you stop being sexy? Because I'm a rabbit. It doesn't matter. I don't care. You know, I'm a rabbit. Oh, yeah, Roger Rabbit. That's your name, Roger Rabbit. Oh, yeah. And I don't know your name, lady. But, you know, you know mine, so that's all. Jumping jeepers? <laughs> Jumping jeepers. Uh, so, um, you know, as long as you know my name, I'm the main And character. that is time. Okay? That is time. Ah, uh, Antoinette, you were so close to actually stumbling on one of the lines from the movie when you were like, really? but that's all. It's like, folks, but not quite. <laughs> right, so. Um, wow. There we go. Uh, is my camera yeah, moved? I'm, I'm shrinking. Right, yes. okay. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, what the hell? mine's moving because I'm actually moving. <laughs> I'm on my phone. Whoa, amazing stuff. Let's roll the dice and see who goes next. Amazingly bad. Thank you. Steven. The film for you is going to be Twilight. Twilight. Ah. And here you <laughs> go. I'm a very sad woman. I'm a very sad woman. I don't feel sad. Don't feel sad. I'm sad. I'm sparkling. I'm sad. I've got long hair. Oh, I fancy you. Oh, but I fancy you too. Oh, but I fancy him over there. Oh, I don't want to hurt your back. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, was that a werewolf? Is that Michael Sheen for some reason? Oh, oh, I've not seen this piece of crap. Oh, we're so sad. Oh, we had a baby. Oh, but I want to eat the baby, I think. Oh, well, keep the baby away from me. Oh, but I love you. But I can't touch you. But I love you. But I can't touch you. Oh, and there was four of these films. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, but I'm so sad too. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm in a tree now. Oh, look at me, I'm in a tree. Oh, oh. <laughs> me away. Yeah, me away. Oh, let's break up. Yeah, let's break up. Oh, come about. And that is time. <laughs> that is time. Well done. Well done. Stephen. Can I just say, he's very emotionally invested in that. Do you know what? What I will say, my suspicion was, you're like, oh, I'm not going to act like I know it, but now I'm going to describe lots of things that definitely happened in it. 
So, oh, and now we're having a baby in this film I hate. Oh, now I'm really sad. I bet hate it. I also thought you were... She yeah. was playing off Kristen Stewart's disinterest in everything too. That, that was what I thought her vapid personality. That's Absolutely. Was acting. Yeah. Was there acting. we go. Okay, going next. Oops. Where's the dice? Oh, I've killed myself. Uh, not literally. <laughs> I meant the cat. I don't even know how I did that. I don't even know how I did that. So, that is my pose. Right. So, um, who's going next? I'll go next. Can someone suggest a film for me? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Okay. Two Ghostbusters, two Ghostbusters two. Ghostbusters two. Okay, I don't remember it, but okay. And okay. here I go. Um, okay, kids, uh, there's something strange in a neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? He man, he man. Ah, uh, just face it, Winston. People don't like us anymore. Right. Um. Ah. Uh, oh, my baby, my baby's going across the road. Ah. Uh, Bill Murray, will you come here, please? Uh, it's Dr. Venkman, actually. Ah, uh, uh, so you got a kid now. We obviously didn't get together after the end of the first film. Don't know why I sound like this. This isn't a good Bill Murray impression. But look. Ah, <laughs> um, uh, look, ah, uh, the painting, ah, uh, the painting. It is Vigo. Ah, uh, we will get the baby. Then there will put Vigo. You will put me into the baby. That's wrong. But uh, when I have overtaken the baby, this show has gone so dark on these topics. Right. It's like, oh, no, we got to, like, slime it. Oh, no, it's slime up. Right. Ah, we got it. No. Oh, we're happily ever after, aren't we, Bill Murray? We'll find out in the next film. And that's me done. So... Um, moving David, someone on. Who, so for someone who didn't know the movie, you knew the movie. Do you know what? i just like to say that I don't know these films, but still. <laughs> right, okay. Let's see who we've got next. Uh, DB, it will in fact be you. So. That's too bad. Okay. Total Recall. Total Recall is your film. And here you go. What do you mean you're not my wife? Now she's dead. <laughs> I'm going to leave here and run. I'm running to a place now. I'm at another place. Now I'm going to have to kill this person over here. And we have to go over here with this group. Now we're going underground. Quato, you are really ugly. You're like an ugly baby, Quato. <laughs> what do you mean you tell the future, Quato? But I, 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 I'm dead. I'm dying. Oh, my face is opening. Is that three tits? Wow. They call that a mutation. That is not a mutation. That's not a mutation. Anyway, I'm going to wake up back home all alive. And I'm waking up. And oh my God, you bastards. You all kind of going to kill all of you. Everyone of you. Get in the chopper. Get in the chopper. <laughs> And that is time. Well done. Well done. So, uh, who has not had a go? Who has not had a go? Ruth. So, for you, you have The Fugitive. The Fugitive. And here you go. I'm very, very sophisticated Harrison Ford. And uh, I'm sure there's something terrible going to happen to me. Um, yeah, I didn't kill her. What do you mean I killed her? Um, right, I'm going to have to go on the run. Running away from the police. Yo. What do you mean? There's, uh, there's, there's people following me. I really wish I remembered this film. Because I think it was quite good. But I don't remember anything. Okay, um... Harrison Ford's in it. I'm Harrison Ford. There we go. There's nothing more. Am I a doctor? I might be a doctor in this. Um, but, you know, yeah, I'll be a doctor. Why don't I be a doctor? But I'm sure somebody's killed somebody and it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Uh, who's going to believe me? You're not going to believe me, are you? Oh, gosh. Oh, what's your name? You're a really good actor. Really good actor, but you're not going to believe me. Um, um, no, he's, uh, he's definitely guilty. It's definitely him that did it. I wish I could remember and that is time. Well done there, Ruth. Well done. Dr. Richard Kimball. 
But, oh, that's it. Uh, okay, um, let's let's move on. We're going to tell some jokes now. We're going to play the game, which is commonly known as 99 Blanks. And we're going to tell some jokes, which will follow the rhythm 99 Blanks, walk into a bar, and the barmaid says your punchline. You replace the word blanks with the name of a suggestion from the Extreme Improv Suggestion Cards. And then it'll be 99, name of professions, walk into a bar, and the barman says your punchline. So let's see what we've got here. The first profession we have is a footballer. A footballer. And so 99 footballers go into the bar. If you have a joke, <coughs> give a wave. Jimmy Mac. 99 footballers <coughs> walk into a bar. Uh, they tipped very well. They said, really great service today. Uh, the bartender said, thank you. Great services are goal! Go, 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 go! Okay, 99 footballers go into a bar, and the barmaid says, what well, you have to drink? And they say, Bex. <laughs> DB. 99 footballers are like, what do you think? We don't have the balls to be in your bar. <laughs> okay, anyone else? Uh, 99 footballers go into a bar, and the barman says, uh, would you like a pint? They say, oh, we're driving later, so I'll just have a half time. I don't know. Right, so anyway, um, DB. Uh, n uh, 99 footballers are like, no, no, not a pint, a punt, not a pint, a punt. Uh -huh. it's, different in, it's a different in American football. Yeah. Like I'm actually doing a, I'm Antoinette. Doing a... So, I'm assuming we're talking about soccer. <clears throat> so, foot, uh, some footballers walk into a bar and then I'm laughing at Dave and see what <laughs> Some footballers walk into a bar, and then, then they say, I'm going to kick you in the shins. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> of course they do. Right. Jimmy Mack. 99 footballers walk into a bar, and they complain because a woman was really just giving them some guff. The bartender said, well, you should probably just sock her. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. Was that woman me? Was that woman me? I didn't. Provide names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eddie, uh, Stephen. Eight and eight footballers walk into the bar. The barman said, We've got a great promotion. If you buy one drink, you get another one there for free. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, anyone else for the footballer? We're going to mix it up, in fact. Let's mix it up now. So, we are going to have 99 switchboard operators. 99 switchboard operators. And if you have a joke, um, DB. 99 switchboard operators are like, wait, just wait a minute. I have to... <laughs> okay, um, 99 switchboard operators will now connect you to Jimmy Mac for a punchline. 99 switchboard operators walk into a bar and, you know, they gave like the setup to the joke and then the bartender gave the punchline. I'm sorry, I'm kind of phoning this in. <laughs> okay. Um, let's have a look. Anyone else? DB? 99 switchboard operators are like, oh, bartender, if, if you're bored and I'm bored, we could just switch. Oh. <laughs> Aha. 99 switchboard operators go into a bar and the barmaid says, look, if you're bored and I'm bored, we can just switch. Oh, sorry. Let me try another line. Um, Jimmy Mac. Uh, two uh, switchboard operators walk into a bar. Uh, the bartender says, we have coffee and tea. What do you both have? They said, we'll have a tea and tea. Oh, Dave. It's an American 99 switchboard operators. <laughs> 99 switchboard operators walk into a bar holding hands. And they ask the barman, would you like to join us? We're all connected. Aha, uh -huh. Antoinette. <laughs> no, I do. <clears throat> Wait. Okay. 99 switchboard operators walk into a bar. And and, the, and Dave Pustansky says, hey, do you want to play my board game? Because then we can switch boards. Yeah. Okay. Ah, love it. Love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, 99 switchboard operators queue up to get into the pub and the one at the back says can you believe this line is busy 
anyone no. else. Let's mix it up again on that note. So, another profession. We are go. Ooh, 99 geniuses walk into a bar. 99 geniuses walk into a bar. If you have a joke, give a wait. DB. 99 geniuses are like, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Ant <laughs> Antoinette. 99 geniuses walk into a bar. And the bartender says, <laughs> hey, what, why are you here? And the geniuses say, to give you the formula M E equals MC squared. Okay, Stephen. And then the geniuses come to a bar. The barman says, why are you here? The geniuses say, oh, we thought it was a good idea. Uh, Jimmy Mack. Uh, 99 geniuses walk up to a bar, and there's a big line outside. <clears throat> you know, they, they turn to each other and said, well, should we queue up? And uh, one genius says, I queue. Oh, I was going to make the same ah! joke. Ah. Right, okay. Um, Stephen. 99 geniuses go up to a bar, but it's closed. So one genius says, shall we go to an alarm bar? I said, yeah, let's take the Eureka. The Eureka. Eureka. Aha! Okay, anyone else? Uh, you have to be a genius to get that one. Eureka! Right. Eureka! 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 Eureka. Um, I don't know what's going on anymore. Right, anyone else for genius? Going once. Um, okay. Antoinette, do you have one? I don't know. I better not. Okay, uh, DB? Night. 99 geniuses are like, I'll uh, I'll fix your computer for you in like five minutes. You're just going to have to wait online. Apple geniuses, maybe that's a different thing in America too. They call them Apple geniuses. No, we have, we have them. It was just good to leave it feeling awkward. Right, so let's get one more, one more, one more. Yeah, uh, okay, let's have a look. So He's we all go... Oh. Like that. He's not wrong. Right, we are going to have 99 photographers walk into a bar. If you have a joke, give a wave. Okay. Uh, Stephen. 99 photographers walk into a bar. The barman says, what would you like? And he said, oh, we have two pens, please. The barman says, oh, I'll get that for you in a flash. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, DB. 99 photographers are like, can you say that again? Put, put your hand like this. <laughs> Jimmy Mack. 99 photographers <laughs> walk into a bar. Uh, they get their drinks and they said, hey, can we get a new glass? Uh, these ones have a little bit of film on them. Uh, the bartender says, quit being so negative. Boom. Ooh, uh, okay. Dave. One. 99 photographers walk into a karaoke bar. They ask for their favorite song. Flash. Oh. Oh. Everyone has to do it. Everyone's going to do it. <laughs> that was like a Tarzan sound. That was 100% Tarzan sound. Right, Thank okay. You. Anyone else? Oh. Georgia the Jungle. Well, Georgia the Jungle. I, I love that we're segueing from one segue to the next. Right, uh, let's have any other jokes on this one, photographers. Going once, going twice, and freeze. Right, okay, go on then. There you go. It's on the book. Right, so we are going to go on to our next game. We are going to play Alliteration Anarchy. We're going to play Alliteration Anarchy where there will be three performers in a scene, and each will be assigned a letter of the alphabet as much as possible. They have to begin as many words as they can with the letter they have been assigned. So, let's see who we're going to have in this. We're going to have Dave, David, and DB. We're going to have 3D. Right, Dave, David, and DB. We can't stay in the same room. Right, why not? Something bad might happen. Well, that's always true with DBs there, but still. Right, so... I'm joking. Nothing but love. Right. I have herpes, though. I also have herpes. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, let's, um, in one second. Wait a second. Right. Right. Oh, silly people. Right. Where are we up to? We are going to do a scene... And can someone suggest, uh, like, where are we? What's our scenario? A lighthouse. We're, oh, I love it. I like lighthouses. Okay. So, we're at a lighthouse. Dave, tell me when. When? You have the letter F. 
Please begin as many words as you can with the letter F. DB, tell me when. When? N, please begin as many words as you can with the letter N. And I will choose R. I will begin as many words as I can with the letter R. We're at a lighthouse and here we go. Right, Roger. Really, really like your uh, rings that you've got around your, round your, yes. <laughs> Frolicking phantasms. Now. Reveal what's, what's the, uh, who, look, <laughs> tell me, who is the highest ranked person here? Frank. Rank. Nautically speaking, nautically speaking, new ideas have to come into play. So <laughs> there won't be any one of us. Now we have to fight to the death to Whoa. run the lighthouse. Frank Fog. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, it's really hard to, like, a rowboat! It's the rocks! Oh. The rowboats, no. the rocks, it's going to run into the rocks. No. Oh, funny. You're no. rubbish. <laughs> Please retire. Negative attitudes like that nail coffins in all of our lives. Funny that I'm the only person with binoculars. <laughs> I see with my eyes now. Rub <laughs> my eyes and... Really good vision. Now, and, and your binoculars have been broken for nine years now. And we've been bringing people in here for... <laughs> frankly, I, frank, frankly, I foraged them from some frogs. Back to the fight to the death. That's the only way we can figure out who's going to run this place. Round one. <laughs> oh, fisticuffs. Just not in the face. Right Just hook. Not... What? <laughs> oh. That was uh. wrong. We should wrestle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your retina, did you say? It's um reattached. Let, let, let's just do this. Rubbing alcohol oh. in your retinas. <laughs> now Frankly, you better. forgot the fog and the frogs and Nathan the frolicking phantasms. So the fro say that again. Frogs and the frolicking fran phantasms. What are you, Dr. Seuss? <laughs> Let me write that down. Nearly everything he says has been completely unhelpful. <laughs> Now Real my, talk. I can't feel my face. My nose. Nothing. Can't feel anything. Good. Forest. And scene. And scene. Well done. Well done. Okay, we're going to come on to our next scene, which is going to be a round of what are you going to do let's find something for you every sentence must you're going to play the game every sentence must the way this works is you're going to perform a scene and every sentence must include a word from a set category so first of all let's find out what your scene is going to be about and it is going to be about the hanging gardens of babylon the hanging gardens of babylon and here we will see ruth here we are. Oh, Ruth begins with R. I should have thought of that. Here we... Uh, <laughs> Stephen Ranking. Oh, that begins with R as well. So many words now. Right, okay. Here we see Antoinette. That does not begin with R. And Jimmy Mack. So, let, you're at the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. And let's choose a category for you. Every sentence must include the name of a natural occurrence. Okay, every sentence must include the name of a natural occurrence, and here you go. I really like those things, they're like raining down. You know, the waterfalls are so beautiful this time of year in Niagara. 
You know who my favorite wrestler is? Is um, Earthquake. So I really like. I really think we should like improve this party here by putting on some airplane and fire. I love September. Oh, that's a great song. It was on sign though, but you know what? There was an actual earthquake just a couple days ago in oh. Haiti. Oh, oh. It was horrible. I, I don't mean to come in like a typhoon, but like, what are the other six wonders of the ancient world? <laughs> Is this? Are we actually in the hanging gardens of of Babylon? Because you know, I I, I feel like it's a it's it's all bit of a fog to me. Well, it is a bit of a fog. I guess we are. There's some sand dunes down the road. Maybe we should go there. Oh, uh, let me think about it. Let me take it over. Mm. You know who uh, one of my favorite... I, let me rephrase that. <clears throat> you know who one of my least favorite X-Men is? Is Storm. Oh, okay. Thanks for sharing that information. <laughs> uh, speaking of storms, there was a horrible thunderstorm last night the tree just like fell from the sky to the ground i avoid those like the plague oh man you know what else i avoid covid mm. i'm putting on a mask shouldn't have said it but i did yeah yeah i i, I feel that, that that something there's something volcanic about the, this conversation that it's just clashing. It, it's it's quite the eruption of events. Yeah. I it's almost kind of like thunder clapping together. It's so loud. Oh. Like, who snores if we should even be talking about this? <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna mix up some drinks. Anybody else want a hurricane? Oh, I'll have a blue Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii is a natural occurrence. Yeah. <laughs> and see, and see. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, we're going to come on to our finale game, which is we're going to play Extreme Monologue. We're going to do an Extreme Monologue. The way this works is we are each going to get the opportunity to perform a monologue. And we have to keep it going as long as humanly possible without repeating any words and without hesitation, which we count as an extended pause or saying a non-word such as uh or um. If we break either of these rules, then someone else can call out freeze. If they correctly identify that a rule has been broken, that is the end of the monologue. Whoever keeps theirs going the longest wins. So let's roll the dice to see who will go first. We have one, two, three, DB. So, DB, your character is, you are Ryu from Street Fighter. You are Ryu from Street Fighter. And just to give you something that you are dealing with, talking around, um, you have a kangaroo. You have a pet kangaroo. You are Ryu from Street Fighter. You have a pet kangaroo. Everyone get ready to call out if he makes a mistake. No hesitation, no repetition. Begin. Freeze. <laughs> What's the challenge? Well, there's repetition of will. Earlier. Oh, then that is a repetition. 34 seconds is the time to beat. And actually, and actually the word never. No. Okay. I thought of that, but there was, nev it was never. Never ending? I think never. I said never and never ending. Is never uh, ending one word? Yeah. Yes. No, it's not yes. oh, Okay, okay. Uh, interesting I stuff. One word, then. Right, so... Okay. Let's see who we have going next. 34 seconds is the time to beat. Dave. Oh, character fantastic. You. Your character <laughs> is Yoda. You have Yoda. <laughs> and oh, let's give God. you something that it's about. Um, oh, God. <laughs> you have been hit by a turkey. You have been hit by a turkey. You are Yoda. You have been hit by a turkey. And here you go. 
Turkey hit me, it did. Tasty they are. I don't turkey eat. Freeze. Freeze. Yeah. Repetition of turkey. 13 turkey, seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Told you. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. 13 <laughs> seconds is a, is still a good score. I mean, it's not a winning score, but it's a good score. Right, so let's see who we have next. Uh, Jimmy Mack. Your character is Kim Kardashian. You're a Kim Kardashian. And just to give you something, you are um, recreating the birth of Shakespeare. You're recreating the birth of Shakespeare. <laughs> And here you go. The Bard of Avalon in England, Globe Theatre, Hamlet, Henry the Eighth, Fourth. Freeze the the <laughs> the 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 Globe. Yeah, sixteen yeah. seconds. Sixteen I seconds. Okay, let's see who we have next. Thirty-four seconds is still the time to beat. And we have Antoinette. Antoinette, your character is Tom Cruise. You have Tom Cruise as a character. And let's see what you will be talking about. The Paranormal. You are Tom Cruise. You'll be oh. talking about the Paranormal. And here you go. Yeah. The Paranormal. I may believe in it. I may not. But... Freeze. Freeze. I think that's going to be... What is it? Repetition? May. I may. I may. Yes. Repetition yeah, of May. Yeah. DB, you're still in the lead. 34 seconds is the time to beat. See who we have next. Let's roll that again. And we have Steven. Your character is Robert De Niro. You're Robert De Niro. And to give you something else to bounce off of, you have a ray gun. You are... Um, Robert De Niro, you have a ray gun, and here you go. Hello, I'm Robert De Niro. I recently came back on holiday from Scotland, so I have this accent now. I really like <laughs> ray guns. I like all sorts of weapons. Freeze. Like Freeze. 12 seconds. What's the challenge? <laughs> like. I really like. I oh, like. yeah. Okay. So, let's see. Who has not had a go yet? Myself and Ruth. So between us, I will go next. Can someone suggest a character for me? Jigsaw. Jigsaw, love it. And what what am I talking about? Pizza. Pizza. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So I am Jigsaw. I am talking about pizza. And here we go. Do you want to have a slice? It has pineapple. Kill you for that. Anchovies. Mmm, fish. Mushrooms. Peppers. Vegetables. Many types. Sauce. Special marinara. Bite. Boom. Bear trap. Ouch. In, in, in the dough. Now then. This pig's head. Chopped up. Sprinkled. Mighty meaty. <laughs> so. The chains. Leg sore. On garlic bread. <laughs> now. <laughs> Carrie Elwes. Mmm. <laughs> don't know. Aww. Oh, I'm done. Aww. Right. 58 seconds though. 58 seconds. Aww. So. Hey. I definitely had hesitations. Just no one called me on it. Yeah. Just didn't want to challenge you. Oh, she'd always challenge me. I, I wanted to see what kind of pizza toppings you were going to go for. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, pig's head in Carrie Elwes. She just kind of went for everything. I want to, can I say something before you vote? I want you to know, I want everyone to know that I was wrong about Never Ending, but my understanding of the spelling of Never Ending Story has always been because of the movie. The Never, yeah. the never Ending Story. So, and I spell it as one word. And that's how I've just it's always... A, yes, it, yeah. it's a hyphen. It, it is a hyphen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's great. It's a hyphen. Yeah, uh, that unfortunately wouldn't stand in this game, though. So, uh, just because <laughs> we have to go with the sound of the words. Right, so Ruth, you will go next. And your character 
is oh you've definitely had Mr Bean before I've I've seen it so let's let's choose Mr. another Bean. one Okay um you have Jane Austen you are Jane Austen and you are sculpting you are sculpting <laughs> something and here you go For such a long time I have written the novels which you can enjoy now I sculpt, no longer words, clay, models, faces appear, not Emma, Darcy, the sisters we have, faces, and I repeated that word, so I'm going to think about Oh, now. and uh, you call it on yourself at about 37 seconds. <laughs> Uh, I, you didn't yeah. freeze me. No, oh, no I liked it, so I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that everyone? <laughs> Was that everyone? Yeah. Well, I'm very sorry to say that means I'm the champ. I'm the champion. There we go. Champion of my own show. Here's the pose. Buy the book. Buy the board game. Go and get a geek battle mug. And with this, um, yeah, there we go. So thank you very much, everyone. Uh, let's very quickly find out where we can find everyone on the social media. Uh, thank you, audience, if you've enjoyed the show. This is a special pre-recorded edition of Extreme Improv Extremed. There will be another special pre-recorded one tomorrow. And let's see who we've got. DB, where can the people find you? Hey, I, uh, I have a show called uh, Welcome Back to America. Of, uh, I interview people, I go to museums, I do different things, I've done improv. It's just a show. You do that or Google my name. I'm on all the mediums, all the platforms. Thanks. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Um, let's, story. let's come across <laughs> Ruth. Where can the people find you? Oh, you can find me on Twitter at Ruth Curtis Acts. Uh, that's my website. That's a program, well, wow, so much more than just wow, which I present is a two-hour program every Tuesday and Thursday on RadioCharwell.com, C-H-E-R-W-E-L-L, from uh, 10 a.m. until 12. Thank you very much. Where can we find you, Dave? Oh, so you can find me on my Instagram, at Darth Nocturnus, and my YouTube, Dave MC, where I do video games, fan fictions, and just general stupidity. Or you could follow this little guy who appears on the show sometimes at his Instagram at Mirti Blueberry, where he also makes a nuisance in my life a living hell. <laughs> Fantastic. Where can we find you, Stephen? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. The thing is, I think he is actually frozen. Oh, no, he's moving. No, yeah, we, we'll wait. We, we've got all day, Stephen. It's pre recorded. We can wait. <laughs> I think it speaks to the artist within me. Okay, fantastic. Antoinette. Yeah. Wow. Um, okay. Jimmy Mack. Jimmy Mack. Um, I have nothing in particular uh, right now to plug. Uh, but I would like to say that never and never ending are two different words. It's a hyphenate. There is no truth in the Zoom meeting. Okay. Um, so, um, my name is David Pstansky, and you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at David Pstansky, spelt P U S T A N S K Y. Oh, whatever is playing in the background is going to get this show taken down if there's music. Whoa, uh, okay, okay, guys, guys, let's, let's not, let's not lose it at this stage. Did anyone hear that? Was it just me? Yeah. No, it was my, uh, eight o'clock alarm to take lots of medication. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, do go smash this subscribe, uh, button, guys. Do go to this website and... Like, you know, buy my book, guys. What can I say? Just buy it. Oh, so, yeah. um, according to DB, I don't David plug it enough. Yes, thank you. And so, yes, with that, yes, stay safe, champion. always stay extremed, and ciao for now. Boom. Bye. Awesome. We are off the Bye. air. Not that we were ever on the air.